Hello everyone, welcome back to Portal. And we're continuing from where we left off. Where am I going? Over here.
thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. 
Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you forgot it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time, entirely, forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. That was an accident. I don't. I didn't even mean to do that.
Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. Oh my god. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing... Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related? Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Say, you're good at murder. Could you, ow, murder this bird for me? Oh, thanks. <sighs> Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move. And unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. No tricks. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. Wow! You stabbed me! What is wrong with you? Huh? Do you have a multimeter? Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Keep an eye on me. I'm going to do some scheming. Here I go. Oh, where are we? How long have I been out? You've been out for five the seconds. Half helps, but it isn't going to power miracles. If I think too hard, I'm going to fry this potato before we get a chance to burn up in the atomic. <laughs> Dang, I probably should have waited outside for just a bit longer for her to finish her sentence. The testing area is just you were out for five seconds. You get through, Nothing happened. You get your 60 bucks. Oh. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? <laughs>
If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. you're interested there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity i mentioned earlier again all you got to do is let us disassemble you we're not banging rocks together here we know how to put a man back together so that's a complete reassembly new vitals spit shine on the old ones plus we're scooping out tumors frankly you ought to be paying us thank you i can't believe i'm thanking these people for staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks fluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carol and what these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? Thinking. 
Welcome to the, the Enrichment Center. Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee, employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <laughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. Oh God, no. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Samantha, see life's manager. Yeah. Make life make rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemons. Oh, like I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence, we should have been working on it 30 years ago. And I will say this, and I'm gonna say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> Now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> yeah, I'll put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir.
for God's sake, your boxes with legs. It's, it's literally your only purpose, walking onto bugs. How can you not do the one thing you're designed for? Try to get us down there. I'll hit him with a paradox. Warmer, warmer, boiling hot. Boy, okay, colder, colder, ice cold, you're arctic now. It's, you're, you're very cold, very, very, very cold. Look, just get on the button! Oh, that's funny, is it? Oh, it's funny, because we've been in this for 12 hours, and you haven't solved it either, so I don't know why you're laughing. You've got one hour! Solve it! So this works out perfect. And off we go. You have no idea what it's like in this body. I have to test all the time. Or I get this this itch, you know? It must be hardwired into the system or something. Oh, but I tell you, when I do test, oh, oh man alive, nothing feels better. It's just, I've, just, that's why I've got to test. That's why I've got to test. So you're going to test, and I'm going to watch. And everything is going to be just... Warning. Core overheating. Nuclear, nuclear meltdown Shut up! I think we're in trouble. <laughs> Design this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. Oh, yes. Oh, well done. <laughs> oh, that felt really good. Oh, here's an idea. Since making tests is so difficult, why don't you just keep solving? This test, same one, and I can just like, watch you solve it. Yeah, that, that sounds much easier. Here we go. Now, do it again. And nothing. All right, can't blame you for trying. Okay, new tests, new tests. Got to be some tests around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. All right. So my paradox idea didn't work, and it almost killed me. Luckily, by the looks of things, he knows as much about test building as he does about logical contradictions. It shouldn't be hard to stay alive long enough to find him. It's all right. Everything's good. I just invented some more tests. This is one of my tests. Not entirely. Not entirely. Look at the word test there on the wall. That's brand new. Seriously, both of you. Why don't I, why don't you two go on ahead, yeah? I'll just I'll catch up with you. Okay, so the bad news is the tests are my tests now. So they can kill us. The good news is, well, done so far to be honest. I'll get back to you on that. Alright, well I'm gonna end the video here. If you all enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and make sure to turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I make a video like this. Anyway, bye.